Hi, Jerry Foster, the Branding Evangelist, back at you for video number five in the Better Branding for Bigger Sales video series. So here's the deal. Now, today, more so than ever before, because of the pandemic and all the noise and all the clutter in the online marketplace, you can no longer simply appear as being technically sound, technically magnificent, technically excellent at what you do. Instead, you have to appear magnificent by owning a single idea, a point of difference in the eyes, in the minds, in the heart of your target audience that says to them, they can get something from you that only you can or will or does do what you do so that you are looked upon as being the best in your space, in your field of expertise, your specialty, because they now know that you are the best choice, the smart choice, the only choice when it comes to looking for someone with your set of skills, talents, and abilities. Are you with me? Now, notice I said single idea, point of difference, which means it's one thing that is important to your audience. It's something that matters. It's something that they care about. And it evolves around and pivots on you promising something of tremendous value that no one else does so that they can wrap their arms around it. And they see you as the person that they associate with that point of difference, that value that is going to get them to want to work with you knowing they cannot get it anywhere else. So for example, let's just take a few big brands. Now, I want you to really pay attention to this because this gets to the heart of what's important when it comes to personal branding and service branding, which is establishing your point of difference in a way that separates you from the rest of the crowd. Now, these are going to be for products. These are going to be for services. I just want you to get the concept here. Crest Toothpaste is not in the business of selling toothpaste. They're in the business of unleashing healthier, beautiful smiles. The Airbnb guys, they're not in the business of home rentals. They're in the business of people belonging anywhere. Tony Robbins is not in the business of life coaching. He's not in the business of motivational speaking. His brand was built around a single idea years ago called Life on Your Own Terms. And he hasn't, he hasn't deviated from that. Every course, all the coaching he does, his, pro, his programs and everything else falls underneath that umbrella. The great motivational speaker, Les Brown, built his brand around the idea, live your dreams. And then he morphed into you have greatness within. Oprah, Oprah was not just in the business of hosting an amazing talk show, she built her brand around the idea of women lead your fulfilled life. DollarShadeClub.com guy says to the world, we deliver high quality razor blades to your front door for a few bucks a month, sold the business for what? I don't know, $5 billion in five years. UPS years ago said, we get your packages to their destination on time. Warby Parker, uh, revolutionary eyewear at revolutionary prices. So I want you to think for a moment, what are you willing to promise something of tremendous value that matters to your target audience that people will immediately want to grab onto with the understanding that they cannot find that anywhere else that is now going to put you on that path of trajectory that ties in with what, your it factor? Oh my goodness, are you ready to scale? Okay, so this is how this works. You wanna be known for something that's fresh, unique, and original. We've talked about that already. So therefore, there's a few things you have to do. Number one, promise something that nobody else does. 
that reflects the one thing that you do best so that you are perceived as being the best at what it is that you do. That's number one. Number two, make sure that what you are promising as your idea is not occupied by any other competitor. So you're you're owning a spot, you're owning place in the marketplace that is all yours, okay? And then number three, it has to convey superior value to other options, which is also going to further distance you from the rest of the crowd. Now, I went into my files, I grabbed, I grabbed a few, about six, to give you some examples of how this works for a home base, quite often people I work with, by the way, you should know this, <laughs> our home base, which is fine. Hell, I'm home base. We're all home base, right? Who does what we do? But anyway, and they are solopreneurs. And a lot of my clients are females, which is not anything significant, but I do. I'd say about 90% of who I work with are women. I think women are a little more open and want to grow. And anyway, so I just grabbed these to get to illustrate what I'm talking about here. So one young lady, instead of saying she did health and wellness coaching, which is pretty plain vanilla, wouldn't you agree? We got her to say that her big grand idea was and is vivacious living and health. That's what she's quote unquote selling, if you get my idea. Uh, another woman who does work with corporate women professionals, instead of saying, I offer coaching for corporate women professionals, we changed that to say providing over-the-top confidence for corporate women professionals. You see the difference? Uh, a woman who does energy work through the magic of her voice and her target audience were actually people who were in, who were in hospitals, who were getting some kind of medical care. And instead of saying that she did energy healing or that she did vocal healing for people, she instead, we positioned her around the idea of restoring health and wellness through music, sound, and vibrations. Another, another lady, she's a, she's a coach. Actually, she's a consultant for women business owners. So instead of saying consultant for women business owners, we found a spot in the marketplace that she owns called Unlocking Hidden Advantages for Women Business Owners for a More Profitable Future. I got a woman who specializes in working with moms, quite often single moms, but not all the time, okay? And a lot of these moms, they battle between uh, being a good mother and the demands on their of their job or their or their occupation, all the demands on their time. And so her brand is about quote unquote, zero mom guilt. That's her brand idea. And then lastly was a florist. Oh my God, can you get more generic than a florist or or flower shop? Can you imagine that? What's your business? Flower shop? Eee. So, I got her to instead say, providing garden style arrangements with a custom flair. You see where I'm going with this? So start thinking about where can you plant your flag? Where can you stake your claim to be known for something that nobody else is known for, that matters to your target audience, that's going to put you in your own spot, in their mindset, so that they see you as being the best at what you do. And as a result of that, they know there are no other alternatives. You are the number one solution. You are the number one expert they want to work with. And that, my friend, is what now is going to really, really give you the rocket fuel that you need to really get moving here. Okie dokie. All right. So listen, work on this. Any questions, hit the link below. Would love to talk to you. Until then, next time, Jerry Foster, the Brandon Evangelist, signing off. Take care.